Hello, my YouTube friends and family. Tonight, I'm just going to go over some things, I'm gonna, um, vegetables I'm going to plant into my garden. I have some carrots. Um, you know, carrots are not really orange. They're purple. Um, they became orange when they combine a queen ant's lace with a wild yam. Oh, yeah. This is, um, this is a hybrid. Yes, I'm mixing. Um, I'm going to plant my cucumbers. I love cucumbers. Those are the juiciest little babies I ever tasted when they come in. They're very nice. I'm going to grow some um, pumpkins this year. Yay! Probably not as big as those pumpkins, but um, I don't know. I want the small ones. And um, the homestead tomatoes. I may grow those. I may. I'm not guaranteeing that. But however, so far I can guarantee those cucumbers over here. Um, no, I probably won't do those. Mm, uh, nah. But, um, cilantro. See, I started buying these cilantro seeds like this. But, you know, I can go to the Indian um, supermarket and get a big bag of cilantro seeds for $7.99. And it's like 150% larger than this right here. It's better, too, to actually grow. And, um... The beans, I may grow this inside. Um, you can look on the back of the package and see how long it takes to germinate, grow, when to plant it. And um, I may just do this one myself because it takes 52 days to harvest. So I may plant these. And that's pretty groovy. Yeah, Old Faithful. Come on, we all know what that is. Uh, there's a beef steak tomatoes. I might get down with that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not feeling it today, you know, right now, but I'll take that back. I'll plant that. And I normally set these uh, wildflower mix out to lure the bees in and the hummingbirds because they help me fertilize um, the female flower. Yeah, so that's a definite yes. And, um, we have some squash, zucchini squash. This is my favorite. I love zucchini noodles. Very nice, very, very nice. So that's an A plus right there. Um, that's the easy one. How long does it take? You, know, you can have a full grown zucchini in like six weeks and pull it off the vine. Come on, that is so easy to do. Hmm. Anyway, let's see what else we can do. What's this? The Kentucky Wonder Pole type bean. Let's see what we got. It takes 60 to 10, 75 days to harvest. I may plant those. That looks good. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And this right here, this is a definite yes. Regardless of what people think or say, I'm going to grow these little babies. Yeah, I actually call them sugar babies. But anyway, I'm going to grow these watermelons. And that's uh, very nice. Yeah. Another hybrid. Anyway, what else we got running over here? Oh yeah, we got some spinach. I'm going to plant that later tonight. I uh, planted my mustard seeds. I have purchased these mustard seeds from the Indian market. And I planted them earlier. This is a big bag of mustard seeds, you know? You can't beat that. And it was $1.19 for this large bag. Now that is a good super deal. Um, I'm looking for uh, vegetables to grow inside because the winter, the weather is kind of working and it's working it's working with me and then it's working against me. And this is the red Russian kale seeds. I got these from Amazon. That's a definite yes. And um, I went to the grocery store earlier and um, so many people out sick and they're just touching all the vegetables. And you don't want them touching your vegetables. So, you know, you might want to get a flower pot, put some soil in it and get busy. But they're just, I mean, they're just spreading germs everywhere. You use a debit, um, pay for your food using a debit card. They're just touching it with all those germs. I'm going to grow some radishes. These are so easy to grow. It takes less than 26 days or 25 days. So that's the A plus right there. But these blue bush beans, let's see, I hope they're not too late. 55 days for some blue bush beans. I'm going to grow these. Very easy, very simple. Can't beat that. I got so many carrots. 
And the reason I have so many seeds is because um, I was purchasing the seeds at Family Dollar when they were 90% off. So I was pretty much paying like one cent, two cent, five cent for a pack of seeds. And so that's when it's the best time to um, purchase your seeds. It's when it's their 90% off. Not sooner, not later, you know, not sooner or not later because after 90% off, they're going to mark it out and you won't be able to get the, the product. However, I do grow cantaloupes. Um, they're very sweet, they're very nutritious, and I love to um, salvage the seeds. I salvage the seeds for the majority of the vegetables that I do grow, but by so many vegetables being a hybrid, there's no guarantee. Uh, lettuce is okay. Peppers. More watermelon, but it takes too much space for this watermelon. She is too large, too huge. I probably won't grow this watermelon this year. Too much time consuming, trying to keep people away from it, keep animals away from it. It's just too, too much work. So, um, everything else looks good. I'm just going to grow majority of what I showed you. And the other seeds, I may give and take a few. Well, thank you for watching the video. Have a good night. Hit the like button, subscribe button. Um, here's some more cilantro seeds, you know, stuff like that. And it repeats itself in this batch. Ah, butternut squash. There you go. There's Old Faithful there. Anyway, have a good night. Bye-bye.